Hello folks and welcome to a brand new Unity tutorial. In today's basic Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how to add sound effects to your game. We're going to add a simple sound to the rotating coin when you collect it. It really is that simple. But before we move on, don't forget if you're enjoying this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel and don't forget if you enjoy it as well, like smashing that like button really does help the channel grow. So let's get on with today's tutorial. What we need to do first of all though is go into our coin score um, script. We're going to alter the coin score script to add a audio playback when we collect the coin. So I don't know if that made sense because it sounded really bad in my mind but we're going to open up the coin score script that we did last time if you call it something else, obviously open that script. And all we're going to do is we're going to alter this on trigger enter function here. We're also going to put a declaration in here for the actual source itself. So it's going to be a public, first of all. And we're going to do public audio source. And let's call it coin sound. And don't forget the semicolon at the end there. And then all we need to do in this here is let's put enter after the adding of the score and we're going to simply do coin sound dot play wow if you ever thought scripting got really difficult just remember when you start off scripting is really really straightforward it's as simple as that we just want the coin sound that we've declared up there to play Okay, so save and exit that script. It's going to compile an update over here. Now, when you click on one of the coins, you will notice over here in the inspector it says coin sound and we're missing the audio source. So, when we declared it in the public section there, that is where that is showing on there. So, we need to add an audio source in there for it to play. Now, I like to create my audio sources in this section over here. So what I do is I create, right click on the hierarchy, create an empty and just call it sounds. And then in this empty one here, I'm just going to reset this to zero just for no other reason, just for OCD more than anything. And in the sound, I'm going to right click again, create an empty and I'm going to call this coin collect. And you can call it whatever you want really, but I'm just going to call it coin collect. Uh, you can call it SMD for sound coin collect, but that's what we're going to do there, coin collect. And on this empty one here, over in the inspector, we've got a little add component button. Now if we click on that, we should then be able to type in audio, and you can see down here we've got audio source. So click on that, and there we have our audio source there. And all you need to do is drag a sound effect into this audio clip option here. Now your sounds you can download from the asset store or you can download from the internet. If you are going to use them in a game, make sure they are copyright free. Make sure that you have permission to use them. If it's just purely for your own purpose, your own learning, then you know use whatever sound you want. It's entirely up to you. I've created a sounds folder, which is just over here. And you can do the same as well. It's always good to keep your assets and all your other things in the game neat, labelled, so you know where to find them. As your game gets bigger, this area gets so congested with folders, you really need to know where to find them. So go into your sounds folder that you'll create, and I've got a sound here that I've already put into this folder. So I'm going to select the coin collect over here on the sounds folder, and I'm going to click and drag the audio clip into there. And this one's called Prize Wheel Spin One Reward. What you need to do then is tick the Play on Awake uh, checkbox, so that's unchecked. Otherwise, what will happen is when you play the game, as soon as the game starts, it'll play that sound, regardless of whether you've clicked the coin or not. So you want to uncheck that so it doesn't automatically play. We now have our sound set up. So click on the coin, on one of the coins, and where it says Audio Source, you need to left click and hold the coin collect and drag it over to your coin sound. And there you have it. Now because this is a prefab and we've got three coins on here, we will then go up to our overrides and we'll click apply all. There it is. Okay, so when we click 
when we click when we click play now and we collect the coin you should actually see and hear a sound there we go look at that Ooh, what a satisfying noise as well there we go all three coins collected and a nice satisfying sound to hear when we collect them as well really good and very very straightforward to do and you can do other things with the sound you can do sound footsteps as you walk in uh, you can you know you know how sounds work why do you need me to explain that but that's it that's how you add sounds to the game for collecting your coins have a play around with it let me know in the comments what sort of things you've done if you found this really useful as well as i say it's a very very short episode but adding sounds is really that simple there's a lot of other things on here with the audio source that you can play around with and do play around with it see what effects you can get um, you can get it so that you know a sound can be playing in the distance and the closer you get to it the sound gets louder and louder there's lots of great things you can do so play around with this in the co in in your own game and you know have fun with sound. Ooh, that sounds a bit strange, actually, doesn't it? Ignore that. It sounds like a kid's TV show. Um, so, yeah, if you've enjoyed that, don't forget, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, and thank you ever so much for watching. Bye for now.